Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. After our journey south, we anchored in Monroe Bay. It's one of our favourite anchorages in the Whangarei Heads area. The following day, we were up bright and early and took a short dinghy ride to a lovely walk which takes you to the top of Mount Manaea. There's a well-maintained track that you can follow for the 420 metre climb to the summit. Oh, lovely view up the mountain today. Can I remind you that this was your idea? Does that help? Mount Manaea is tapu, or sacred, to the Northland Maori. The track leads you under Nikau palms and Kauri stands with glimpses of Pahutakawa trees among a cluster of jagged bush-covered peaks. As you climb towards the summit, the gradient gets steeper and the views get more impressive. What do you think of that then? I thought that was awesome. The view from the top was outstanding, I have to say. If a bit windy and a bit chilly. Mm -hmm. Worth it. So here we are. Back at the foot washing station. It's a jolly nice walk. It was fabulous. That's what we did today. Good to see Dave still here when we get back from a walk. And that we've got wheels, because it's low tide. in the bay, please come this way. People on the beach are excited. I'm excited. There, yep. look how close in he is. Oh, 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 I'm so excited. Oh my God. Come this way, come this way. Oh, they're awesome. Oh, there's it's... a big bugger in there. There's a big bugger. Oh. Oh! That's so cool. Oh my god! Oh! Just here! So where's the yep. big boy? Here, just under the surface. See? Yeah. Yep. Oh, please come up. Please come up. There you go. Oh my god! to cheer up a rainy Saturday, wasn't it? Fox and Birch. What happened? A pod of orca were um, chasing rays. Just casually swimming past the boat. Yeah, it was incredible. I did lots of squealing. Um, we are now off to, as the high tide is coming up, push us up the river. We're going up to North Sand to anchor off, so Jerry can have a look at our further. Sometimes, just sometimes, the weather is sh That's our view. Not much to see here. So the lovely Jerry is back making some adjustments to our furler. This Allen key bolt in here over the course of this trip has screwed itself in and is about to go so far in that this pole will then spin in relation to this, which is not a good thing. And we've also got a whole load of gaffer and rubber on here because uh, we think the installer has put this up too high. So um, there's movement in this when it's under load and it's just hitting the bird strike over here. We've dropped the further about 100 mil basically. So this, this is now shorter in here. It was up here before. So we've, we've dropped it, the top of it was here yeah, before. Yeah, it was hitting on those strokes, wasn't it? So now we've got more space here, and because this is shorter, it's actually a stronger part of the mechanism. And also so our heads are all sit. Slightly lower. Better, yeah. Yeah, which might improve your leads on your sheets. Yeah. It's a Friday night on DT. 
and we had a lovely evening planned. We were going to meet up with the crews of True Companions and ski. We're going to take Dave over to shore because we're still anchored in the river just off North Sand and Fangaray. And yeah, the uh, the weather put paid to that. It's blowing between sort of 25 and 30 knots and it's piddling down with rain. So we basically, we cut our losses. We stayed in. We're watching a movie on Netflix called The Christmas Chronicles because it's very nearly the 1st of December. Go Santa! <laughs> Rob's just cooked us a lovely dinner. We're boiling the kettle for a nice cup of tea. And uh, that's probably the most exciting our Friday night's going to get. Hark, I can hear the engines running. Yeah, we're moving on. Um, nearly been here a week, actually. So got what we needed done, had a chill out, had a lovely evening Quite last night. Quite literally a chill out, yeah. yeah. Um, just sitting out some weather. Uh, Going to head down to Monroe Bay uh, overnight there and then see if the weather's good to head to Barrier Island tomorrow. 20 past 7. Yeah, it's all good. On a Sunday morning. I know. Yeah, it's hard, hard yards, but we'll anyway. have, a, have a sleep this afternoon. <laughs> Good morning. It's dawn and uh, just enjoying the wonderful fresh smells after some rain overnight and a really nice dawn chorus as well with all the birds in the, in the trees next to where we're anchored. It's good morning. It's Monday the 3rd of December and this morning we're heading over to Great Barrier. Hopefully we've got some wind. We haven't got any wind at the moment but hopefully there'll be wind when we get out there. Are you readying the sails darling? Um, so it's uh, very nice. And then are we going to drink our tea? Yep, ready when you are. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Was that it? <laughs> How are things, Joe? Well, we came out, forecast was for between 15 and 20 knots, and we've got 7.9 knots of wind, so we're cracking along at 3.9 knots. I'm refusing to put the engines on at the moment, but I'm going to have to brake soon. So the sails are flapping and clanking and banging, there's a squall over there. <laughs> It's just typical New Zealand sailing. I'd forgotten that you get a weather forecast and you go out and you go, yep, that's not the weather we're getting. I've got another boat behind us. He's, he's got to have his engines on because he's doing six well, knots. Well, that's the main reason we want to put the engine on, I think. What? Two boats, same direction? Yeah. Race? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have to in a minute. This is the hen and chickens. Bit of a squall behind us. Pushing the wind gusts up a little bit. We're all good. A nice sea state. Clear skies ahead. Trip update. Uh, we are about two hours, well, slightly under two hours out. And it's all right. We've had fairly decent wind. It's a little bit more sort of broad reach than we would like, but we're sailing along quite nicely. A little bit of a sloppy side swell going on, but. Yeah, we've made good time. Probably averaged, I don't know what we do with average, about six and a half by the time we get there, maybe six seven. Six and a half, seven. Not too bad at all, but it's a very grey day, isn't it? Yeah. And we haven't seen anything exciting. No dolphins, no whales, just birds. And the third and final update of the trip. Uh, it's three minutes past one, we are doing it at 1.30. We have now got 29 knots of wind, so we've got two reefs in the sails now um, from the forecast. Well, they did say it was going to go up to 25 this afternoon, but I guess 29. Um, so we're still chopping along at about seven knots. Swell's picked up a little bit. We're getting the odd one roll under us, probably of about two metres. But we're nearly there. We're coming into Port Abercrombie, and it's about to rain again. <laughs> What 
was I just saying about not seeing any dolphins? The gloomy weather certainly wasn't dampening their enthusiasm. What a fabulous welcome to Great Barrier Island. Just arriving and that is Kutuku Point. So we are going through the pass through here. At the moment we have full sails up and we're going to go through there where it's a bit calmer and drop them. And we went to close up our sail bag but Robson has found a visitor. We must have picked up um, a flying fish coming in from Fiji and we didn't know about it. Which is about a month ago. And it's been in the sail bag. And he's in here with a lot of maggots. Where is the fish? Oh, there he is, look. I see. The maggots are mostly dead now. Okay. So. All the maggots knocked into one place. Mr. Dead Fish is in the bucket there, bless him. Mm. He smells a bit, doesn't he? He does a bit. Now I need a cloth with some bleach on it just to get this a bit of a wipe out. for watching. Join us next week as we have fun exploring Great Barrier Island before returning to the mainland where double trouble is hauled out and the hard work begins. <laughs>